In this video, I will be explaining to you the difference between metals and non-metals. And also, I'll be mentioning a different kind of category, which is which are called the metalloids. So, first, we're going to talk about the properties of metals. A good way to, to picture these properties is to show you two examples of very common metals, which are gold and silver. So there you have it, gold and silver. Gold on the left and silver on the right. The first property of, the first property of metals is that they are malleable. So, malleability. And malleability is simply the ability of something to bend. So, a good example of it is that you can buy a, a silver clock, a, a silver watch, something, you, you can give it a shape, a, the, the shape you want. That is something very characteristic, very characteristic of metals. A second characteristic they have is that they are ductile. So, ductility. And when you say something is ductile, it's simply that you can pull it into a wire, into a very thin wire, like what happens to copper. Copper in its natural shape isn't a wire, so you can pull it very, very thinly into wires, which you use to, to conduct electricity, like on the electric current. It is a very widely used metal. The third property of metals is that they are they are able to conduct electricity so electrical electrical conductivity what this means is that they are able to they're capable of carrying an electrical current like copper again the fourth property of metals would be luster. And when you say something is, is has has luster, it means that it is able to reflect light through it. So as you can see in the picture, the gold, if 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 you if you clean it well, you can actually reflect light through it. It shines and you can look at yourself pretty much. That is something very characteristic about metals. Well, those are the four main ones. They, they, metals usually have high melting points and, bo and boiling points. They're solid at room temperature, except for mercury, which is just an, an, an exception, you know. And well, I forgot to say, a, a melting point is when the, the element goes to the liquid state. And well, you could say a fifth property would be that they tend to lose electrons, so they are cations. Sorry, they tend to become cations. They're they're in their and well that's it for the metals. Now we're gonna talk about the non metals. The non metals are, are the opposite of the metals. They have low boiling points, they have low melting points, they have they have different characteristics. So and well, this is usually how a non-metal looks like. This is sulfur. So, a very unique characteristic to, to non-metals is that they're brittle. So, brittleness. And what this means is that they can break easily. As you can see in, you, as you can see in the picture, it doesn't look particularly strong, so you can pull it apart. Another property of non-metal is dullness. Dullness is the opposite of luster, so it means the, abs the absence of luster, so it won't reflect light through it. You can see there, it, it's not shiny, it's, it doesn't reflect any light at all. They do not conduct electricity like metals do and they tend to gain electrons so they form anions they they can become anions
so anions, they tend to gain electrons. Now, there is another category under which the elements can fall, and it is the metalloids. Well, metalloids are just in between the metals and the nominals, so the characteristics of metalloids, they kind of share char characteristics of metals and nonmetals, but they're not classified as a metal or a nonmetal. So those elements that do that are put into this group. And an example of, of a metalloid is boron. Like, So this is how boron looks like. And this is the latter of the non -metal, of the of the metalloids in the periodic table. So if you want to identify to identify the, the metalloids if they give you a periodic table you should memorize this ladder. It's you can look at it. The red color shows how the ladder goes. So the main ones I'm gonna paint in blue, which are boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, and tellurium. Those are the six main metals. However, polonium and acetine, they some consider them metalloids, some don't. It really depends on your periodic table. And aluminum is rarely considered a metalloid, but sometimes it is, so you should know that. And that's it for metalloids. They are, you have to remember they have char characteristics from metals and non-metals.